Hello everyone. In the previous video, I showed you how to use Ansible to provision a bare metal Kubernetes cluster. On that cluster, we already have Ingress Nginx, Metal LB, and so on. Now, I will show you how to configure your modem to work with Metal LB, then it will allow inbound access to your cluster from internet. Please note that I'm using a home network with a very basic modem. I'm using the modem ZTE F670Y, another modem should do similar steps. By the way, your modem and internet service provider must have the features to support open ports, HTTP and HTTPS. First, log in to your modem web admin. You can search on Google to know how to access it or contact your ISP. Normally, on local network, you can see your cluster IPs over here. Go to port redirection. Make sure HTTP is using port 80 and 443 for HTTPS. Then open port forwarding, create two rules here for HTTP and HTTPS. Input your Metal LB's IPs to LAN host. Don't forget to save your setting. If your ISP provides a public static IP, then you don't need to do these steps. If not, please do the following step. Go to the DDNS sections, log in to your NoIP account and input your information. If you don't have an account, I will show you how to create one. Go to NoIP.com. Click on Sign Up, then input your information. Go through their instructions like email, password, verify account via email, and so on. After everything is done, log in to your account. Go to Dynamic DNS, create a new hostname, input your name, then click Create. Now come back to Modem Web Admin and input your information. Input the username, password, and hostname. Perfect, the configuration on the modem is completed. For me, I also have a domain. So I will go to my domain management and create a CNAME and point to my dynamic DNS. We will use that CNAME to access the sample app. Now we are going to deploy a sample app on our cluster to make sure everything works fine. I don't want to SSH to the master node and run cube control command to deploy YAML files. So I will install the Kubernetes client on local machine then we can manage the cluster remotely.
Next, create a new folder named .cube in home folder. Using the SCP command to copy the cluster config file from the master and save it to .cube folder that was already created. Perfect. Let check by get all pods in a cluster. Now create a YAMO file to define a sample application that we will deploy. Please find in video description. Now I'm going to deploy, first create a namespace, then run cube control apply to deploy your app. Now let access to domain and test, our app using HTTP so I have to open incognito tab. Perfect. It's working. That's all. Thank for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.